Okay, now let us talk about this DNA nanotech COVID-19 vaccine, which is coming to a country near you. So you need to understand that this is not fake news. I'm not making the story up. You can go on the website for the various clippings that I'm showing you and verify each story, right? This is happening. The end times are not coming. They are here. And you need to understand that this vaccine will be used to corrupt the seed of man. It will be used to mix and mingle the seed. I will be making a connection with this, vir this vaccine to end time prophecy. Right? I'll be making a spiritual connection and show you nothing new is really under the sun right now people you need to understand that this life we're living it is coming to a swift end and it is coming to a very bloody end because war is coming to man because freedom can only be earned through blood right and you need to understand you will not get a second chance to say the things to your loved ones that you did not say you will not get another chance to do the things that you did not do so right now is a time to start to prepare get the family together right and understand that this is the end times now let us talk some more about genesis and the implications spiritually to this vaccine now in genesis it tells us of a story where the sons of god had relation with the daughters of man now that relation produced a tribe of nephilim now the bible goes on to tell you that noah's flood came destroyed the nephilim and the fallen was locked away but the fallen wasn't only mixing with man they were mixing the seed as well having various chimeras which is human hybrid and animals they were properly mixing and mingling the seed when noah's flood came it washed everything away but some of the details is not in the bible it is only in history right so you need to understand what really is going on so in order for them to create the nephilim they had to mix and mingle with the daughters of man but they are locked up so they cannot do it so how is it that they are going to bring back the nephilim because the bible clearly tells us that leading up to the end times that these things will be coming back on the earth now our first evidence comes from luke 17 verse 26 and as the days of noah so shall it also in the days of the son of man so whatever was happening during the days of noah which was a lot it will be happening on earth very soon right we have further evidence from the book of daniel that speaks of a prophecy about the mixing and mingling of the seed how are they going to achieve that if the fallen ones are locked away and when they are released they still will not get enough time to mix and mingle the seed because the bible goes on to tell you that time will be cut short so they will not have time to mix and mingle the seed so let us keep it moving and ask critical question how do they intend to achieve this because the bible states it will happen right now let us investigate this matter now we have this dna vaccine that is scheduled to come later on in the year we need to ask where did they get this dna from right is it plant is it animals is it is it others where did they get this dna that they want to put in our families and in our friends right because these people know exactly what they are doing they need us to give up our divinity right and if we do not give it up because we are not giving it up so therefore we will be tricked or forced into giving it up because they need us to sin grossly against the most high these people are also looking to corrupt the seed by corrupting the seed they are trying to corrupt the bloodline because they they are looking for a royal bloodline so the stakes are extremely high
So they definitely need this vaccine and this pandemic to go according to plan. Right? Because many will line up and hand over their divinity and over their freedom and their rights to this life. And they do not know what they are up against. Now, let us get into some history. All those dead Nephilim from time gone by and those dead abomination, their DNA are usable. I know what many of you are saying. Here goes the crazy lady. Remember years ago, there were allegations that when farmers or individuals find the bodies of these Nephilim, various museums or organizations will come and take it and you will not hear nothing of it anymore. Right? These people, they knew the DNA was usable. Right? And that is why they were fighting so hard in the Middle East. That is the reason for the wars. At least one of the reasons for the wars in the Middle East. They are trying to get these dead, dead Nephilim, dead abomination. They are trying to get their DNA. Especially ones like Nimrod or Gilgamesh right along with the various animal hybrids now they will use that to corrupt the seed of man and to mix and mingle the seed now further evidence i will bring to you is a scientist that let us all know that the dna from these dead dead mummies are dead nephilims it is usable dna from thousands of thousands of years ago it is usable and his name is savant piabo i hope i got the pronunciation correct he's a well decorated well respected scientist from sweden right and his work tell us that these ancient dna is usable Go look him up because he's well reputable and he won quite a few awards for his work and his work is absolutely staggering. You need to understand that they are using these DNA from these dead Nephilims, dead abomination and putting it to change our form, to corrupt the seed of man, to mix and mingle the seed, to bring back the giants, bring back the Nephilim. Let us look at further proof now we have an article from the bbc where they are telling you dna yields secrets of human pioneer no this this human is from 45 thousand years ago and they get usable dna now check this one out also from national geography where they get a chewing gum that yield dna that tells a story and this gum is uh, five thousand seven hundred years right usable dna the technology exists the technology exists this is not conspiracy theories this will be happening about the end of the year you can expect to see things coming on the earth that will make men's hearts fail them, right? So look out for that because they are saying the vaccine will be ready by the end of the year. The Most High will not sit and allow this to happen. You need to understand we are in the end times right now donald trump says he's going to mobilize the military to get the vaccine to americans why there can only be two reasons either you're going to vaccine by force or you anticipate that the american people will retaliate and reject it now these people did not work thousands of years on their plan for it not to work and if you will not take it willingly, then they will starve you out. Because they will withhold food, water from you, resources from you. So if you think you will not take this and give up your divinity and corrupt the seed and bring back the Nephilim, you have another thing coming. They will force you or they will starve you out. But whichever way, they have to get you to take these vaccines. And notice that it is worldwide. 
everyone agree to collapse their economy everyone agree to bring on famine when actual fact most governments they cannot agree on nothing but they all agree on the pandemic ask questions time is not our friend be prepared make sure you got a little bit of supply some heirloom seed and seek the face of the most high time is critical as we say glory be to the most high